just talk on brief, but before this, I'm going to to make a brief review of what we covered during in our previous lesson. In our previous lesson, we look at the terms which are being used in the ghetto bridge. Some of the terms that we looked at was one, a term like a bull. Whereby we say a bull, it is a male, mature ghetto. We also add a term like a cow. And we say a cow, this is a mature female ghetto. And at this, we also add a term like a calf. A calf, we say, this is a young one of a ghetto of any sex. And we say of any sex, it means that it can either be a male or else a female. Of whichever sex it is going to be referring to as a calf. We also look at a term like a bullock. A bullock, however, we say, this is a mature male castrated ghetto. We have another term like steer. Stia, this is a male keto which is castrated, but now this one is young. This now makes a difference between a bullock and a steer. Remember, a bullock we said it is mature and castrated, but a steer it is young and castrated. We also have another term type the Ava. The Ava, this is a female keto between winning and the first calving. These are some of the terms which we looked in our previous lesson. And today let's go directly to categories of livestock breed. The livestock of breed are unbrunded categorized into two major categories. We have the first category it is the indigenous keto breed. We have the indigenous and the second category is the exotic keto breed. The exotic keto breed. We shall start looking into details about the indigenous keto breed. Now to note about the indigenous keto, or else what we are calling the indigenous keto breed, these are the natives or else they are the locals. They are the natives, or we can say they are the locals of this the keto breed. This keto breed they belong to a class called Bulls Indicus. They belong to a class called the Bulls Indicus. And of concern is that this breed of keto it is not categorized. We are saying it is not categorized. Because the breeding pattern of it is uncontrolled. What does this mean by saying that the breeding pattern is uncontrolled? This is because you cannot indicate the calving intervals of these kettles. Whereby well, right? there are some which are going to take the years to calve. Others are going to take two years to calf, of which then even these three years are not going to be regular. That means, to take for instance, we have this one keto, let's call it keto A. In this season, this keto is going to calf after a length of three years. Next, it is going to calf after an interval of two years. Due to this variation, makes it them not to be classified as in the category of the breed because the breeding pattern of them is uncontrolled. We now look at the categories of these kettles, which we are calling the indigenous kettle. The, the categories of us, the examples, categories or Examples. We have some various examples of this keto among others. For instance, we have a keto by the name Golan. We have other by the name the Sep. These two are some of the examples among others of the indigenous keto. Next, we look at now the characteristics or the 
features of this heterogeneous ketone. That means when you see an, a ketone, what are you going to observe from it, mainly from the outer part of it, so that you can classify it or say truly this is a, an indigenous ketone. <coughs> characteristics of the indigenous keto. One, they have an arm. Have an arm. For instance, when you see a keto, look at the top part, mainly from the back. If this is the back top line, assuming this is the edge of a keto, you are going to see an arm at the back. This is what we are calling the arm. We see that the indigenous keto. Once you see any keto with an arm, then you very fast classify this keto into the category of the indigenous keto. The other thing is that they are tolerant to diseases. They are tolerant to diseases. That means there could be that means there could be an instance of the outbreak of diseases, but these ketones are going to tolerate the same. They are not highly affected by the outbreak of diseases, or else, even if they are being affected, they have the survival mechanism to tolerate the same disease which has invaded them. The other characteristics of this is that they are a slow rodent. This means they take many years for them to grow and therefore becoming mature. So they take many years to grow and become mature. Another characteristic is that they are low in production. Low in production, that is the production of both milk and Meat. That means these ketones they produce very little amount of milk. Next, they can walk for long distance. They can walk for long distance, and the reason as to why they can walk for long distance is in search of the fish. They walk for long distance in search of the fish and water. <coughs> Next, we can see that this lives up too, they can survive with little food. And survive with little food. That means the little, the little amount of the feed which is available, these kettles are going to survive on it. And note on this gate, the one by do not confuse the item of saying the little food to whereby some we are likely to say without food. No, they don't survive without the food, but we have seen that they survive with little food. The other characteristics of these livestock is that. <coughs> The calving interval. The calving interval is long. The calving interval is long. That means they take a long period from one calving to the other calving. Calving, this is the act of giving birth into livestock, the act of giving birth into livestock. Therefore, among these characteristics, and let us to or else you will be at a point whereby you are able to differentiate between the genotype and the phenotype characteristics of them. For instance, the aspect of tolerating diseases, this is something that is genotype. You cannot see it with your eyes, but it is a feature in them. But they have an arm, this is about a phenotype. A phenotype characteristics that means by use of your eyes you can see that these 
Okay, those are our words. And uh, this is very open on the surface of the body. It is not in view. It is not inside the body. The other thing is uh, something like the family intercourse. This one you can see. Therefore, we can classify it as finger type and not genotype. type. Therefore, be at a point of knowing the various adaptations and classify them as either they are phenotype or else they are the genotype. Otherwise, thank you very much for being much attentive during the lesson. During the rest, next lesson, we shall be looking at the exotic keto breeds. Thank you.